guys today i have something a little bit different for you i want to do my annual empties this year usually every year i do my makeup empties but you know this year i decide to separate them not because i have a overwhelming amount of stuff it's actually quite the opposite but i just feel my channel has been very heavily focused on nails this year so i figure i should do a separate nail stuff empties so to begin this year i only have two colored nail polishes that i have finished this year i did not do a project polish which is why i didn't get to finish a lot of colored nail polishes so one polish is actually my stamping polish from maniology this is in the color straight up black i picked up stamping this year like a ton so i naturally finished a black stamping polish this one doesn't look like it's finished it's completely opaque but i set this bottle upside down overnight and there's nothing coming out of this anymore so this is completely all gone and i like it i think this is a very decent stamping polish the only other color polish that i finished is my marshmallow sunset from kl polish this guy i actually tried to pen it last year so that's where i was at the end of last year so i didn't i didn't have much left in this bottle at all and this one got quite thick and gloopy i mainly used it on my toes throughout this year just because i really like this color on my toes for some reason i've really grown to like white toenails and on top of that this one has a gold shimmer it just makes it really cute looking so that's just that polish then i have a acetone antidote that i finished this year this one is from baroness x i got this one from uh polish pickup i think her brand makes one every month with different scents and i really enjoy it i think this is a good way to cut down on your remover cost so i think their recommendation is to put this vial into a um, the Zoya Big Flipper bottle, I actually divide that in half. So I would do two Zoya Big Flipper bottles with this vial. I think that's enough. I just pour acetone in there and then pour half a vial into that Big Flipper. It worked out great. And I really think a whole vial is too, almost too greasy to me. I didn't like it that way. And I compared the cost. Acetone itself is very cheap. I think this vial is about $8. If you can get Zoya Remove Plus the giant bottle, the 32 ounces, on like 50% off sale, they're about the same price. Cuticle oil-wise, I am not very good at oiling my nails. I don't know what it is. It's just a habit that it's really hard for me to get into. I was only able to finish two products. One is just a cuticle oil pen. Those kind of things, if you use it consistently, it runs out really fast so this one is from different dimension the scent is orange dreamsicle i really like those pen style things just because i like their easy application method and you can bring them anywhere toss it in a purse keep it at your desk what have you and i like the soft bristle tip that it's really easy to go around your nails and also go underneath like right here in your nails so if i could choose this is definitely my preferred method of oil application but it just comes with a lot of plastic it runs out fast so that's kind of like the bummer side of this and i finished a big bottle of the cuticle oil by butter linden this one is all right it's a pretty good oil i don't particularly like it or dislike it it's just something that i would do i think this bottle lasted me quite a few years it had a square cap i lost it that like long ago but this one is all right, and um, if you can catch it on a sale, why not? But otherwise, I won't particularly recommend this. I finished one matte top coat this year, which is surprising because I was not a big fan of matte uh, top coats before. But this year, because I was doing a lot more nail art, and I think the matte top coat just really amplifies the look. So I've been using matte top coats a lot. This is the one and only matte top coats I've ever finished. It's from OPI. It's just called matte top coat. I like it. It's pretty good and it got pretty thick towards the like last quarter or so. Um, but it's all right. I used it almost all the way to the end, but you can see some lingering drops still in the bottle. I didn't clear it like completely, completely. 
Uh, but regardless, this one is a pretty good one. I don't know why, but it seems like, well, I kind of know why. <laughs> I only have one base coat. Um, I use my peel off base coat more often now, and I like to use peel off polish in general. So, you know, regular base coat, I don't go through them super fast anymore. And if I'm just swatching, a lot of times I won't even use base coat. So that's why I only have one base coat. This one is from OPI. It's the Infinite Shine uh, Step 1 base coat. I like it. This one is a little bit on the thicker side, which is, you know, it, it leads me to believe it's a little bit more nourishing, but really, I don't know for sure. It was a pretty good one. I would definitely repurchase it if I see it somewhere. Um, I have nothing against it. I said I only finished one bottle of base coat. That's because it's, you know, comparing to my top coats. I finished seven bottles of top coats. Uh, that's quite a bit. So first of all, I have two of the same. Those are the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. I really like this stuff. The only downside of this is that it gets really thick about halfway. So I always have a few bottles of this on hand. When it gets thick, I would just combine it with another bottle, keep on using it. Um, so I am sure I have one open one in my stash right now, and those two are just the two I was able to finish. Then I have a gel effect top coat from Believe Beauty. This one is sent to me PR, and I have to say I am okay with it. Like, it's not super fast drying. It's not super thick. It's just like middle of the road, okay top coat. Um, I finished the most of it. I think the little bit left, I combined it with some other top coat, but it's cheap. It could be found at dollar stores. So, you know, if you just have to find something quick, uh, this is okay. And also it has a wider and rounded tip brush if that, you know, is important to you. So the application of it is definitely easy. Then I have this top coat that's surprisingly good. I really, really liked this one. It's the CND Longwear Top Coat. This one is really good. It's thick and glossy and it dries really fast. It almost reminds me of Sash V, uh, but I just, I like it a lot. It got thick at the end, but I can't say how much was left in it because it's opaque. I just kept on using it. Actually, most of the top coats, the very last little bit of it, I always just pour all of them into one bottle. Like I have this forever running mash of like a hundred different brands of top coats in a bottle kind of top coat. And it's working fine. Like whenever I have just the almost unusable portion of any top coat, I would just pour it in there. So, you know, that last little bit went there, but I had no idea how much I actually was able to legit use on its own um, because the bottle's opaque. So that's a bummer. But regardless, I really, really enjoy this uh, top coat. Then I have a top coat that I wanted to try and I was really not so very impressed at all. This is from Sally Hansen. It's called Dries Instantly. I thought maybe it would just serve a similar purpose as Insta Dry, but no, this is not a fast drying top coat and it's not thick. It's just a very mediocre top coat. <laughs> I did not care much for it at all. I used about like half of this bottle and I just like, I don't want to even use it anymore. So I poured it into the the mixture of like all my top coats because that one was really thick and this one was relatively much more liquid. Um, so I basically just poured it in there and make everything else a little bit thinner in a way. So yeah, I would not recommend this one at all. The last two top coats I have here are indie brands. So I have one from Moonshine Manny. This one is called Runaway Let's Go Quick Dry Top Coat. I really like this one. This one is surprisingly good. I used just about everything in here before it dried on me. Like I was surprised how far down I was able to finish it um, before it got even thick. And this one is a scented product. I do feel the like the scent or the essential oil, is that what it is that makes it smell good. I think it like settles more towards the end. So at the end, it wasn't the thickness that bothered me. It was how strong the scent was that bothered me. Um, you know, now I know whenever I get a scent to top coat, maybe I'll just like shake it up every time before I use it so that I can evenly distribute the essential oil. But 
I probably would get a unscented version of this because I really like it. And then I have Shiny Phalanges from Painted Phalanges. This one is also a really good top coat. So both of them, they have similar formula. They're really thick, really glossy, dries really fast. However, the Painted Phalange one did uh, get thick on me really fast. I used about just a third to maybe half of the bottle and it became so thick, it was just almost unusable. It was bubbling up really bad. So I had to pour it into my like mixture of top coats. Um, but other than that, I liked it. I think this one, yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it again just because I was only able to use it like halfway. So lastly, I just want to quickly show you my remover slash acetone stash. Just you have an idea like how much I go through in a year. First of all, I have three of those uh, Q-Tex nail polish removers. So there are uh, two different types. I don't remember when I got which one. So I have the blue labeled ones. Those ones are ultra help, ultra powerful nail polish remover. And then I also have the pink looking one. This one is the strength shield nail polish remover. I honestly don't remember much of the difference. I think they just worked all right. I, I don't think I would buy those again just because if I want a quick removal, I would rather go for acetone with some antidote in it. Or if I want like the, just the whole deal, I would just go with my Zoya Remove Plus. But a lot of people recommend this brand. So I tried it. I tried two different types. You know, it's good. If you don't have access to those other things that I mentioned, you can find those at Walmart. Or if, you know, I'm traveling, I just need a bottle real quick, I will go for them. Um, but they're all right. I went through three bottles of pure acetone. They are all 16 ounce bottles. So I have this one. I think I bought this one from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is the brand, I don't know how to say it, Onyx. Anyways, I like this one. It's a pretty good acetone, but honestly, I actually prefer this one. This one I got from Target. It's the Up and Up brand. I lost the cap on this one, but um, I like this acetone better mainly because of the bottle shape. I like that it's it's a little longer and cinched on top, so that when I do my cutting balls, it doesn't over pour. You know, like it, it has a little time when you do a bottle like this it, it tends to be like oh nothing's coming and then all of a sudden like too much acetone comes out so just for the bottle shape preference i like this um but you know i can easily just pour whatever into this bottle obviously and that's not that big of a problem um but i like this one it's really cheap at target and of course i have my zoya remove plus so this one like i said i can get them pretty cheap when they are on like big sales, 50% off, 70% off. I always keep my eyes peeled when they have big sales and I always stock up. I do pour this into my um, flipper bottles. And honestly, what I do is I pour this into the flipper bottle about three quarters full or maybe like just when the neck starts to cinch in a little bit. And I pour some pure acetone in it because I feel my nails could take on a little bit stronger stuff and I have less patience and it's a little cheaper. So like, that's just how I do it. You know, I always mix this with a little acetone when I actually use it. This is actually me hopping back on here like two weeks later. <laughs> I haven't edited the video. Of course, I haven't uploaded it and I was able to finish something else already. So I figured I might as well just add them in here. So I was able to finish another huge bottle of pure acetone from Beauty Secrets. The acetone itself is fine. I have nothing against it. It's just pure acetone and I need it. But I really don't like this bottle shape because it has this kind of sharp angle here. When I put cotton balls on here and try to pour, it's always like, there's nothing coming out and you tip a little more, there's too much that came out. So not a fan of this bottle, probably won't buy acetone from this brand anymore just for the sake of that. And then I also finished another top coat. This one is from UNT. It's called Three. I think it's a like a multi-step system 
kind of manicure set and this is step three which is just a regular top coat i like it okay it's not one of those fast drying or super thick kind of top coats so i tend to use this for my swatches and i can take a picture real quick um, but if i have to wear a manicure for a prolonged period of time i usually don't use this but it does dry glossy and all that so you know it's pretty good but that is all of my nail empties this year a little bit more on the boring side um, just because like i said i didn't do project polish but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.